and secure those batteries. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the second episode of uh, Killzone 3 Challenges. This time it's the quick scoping and no scoping challenge. And I must say that I I was rather surprised, or quite surprised, to find that I can actually pull it off to a fairly decent degree. I, I really thought I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Um, but it, as it turns out, I'm not too bad at it. Obviously I'm not. This isn't going to be like a... Uh, amazing display of flawless quick scoping prowess or anything like that. But I still, I still thought I did a, a fairly decent job of it, as I said before. Anyway, let, let me just mention a few things uh, off the bat right here. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm considering a no scope to be quick scope, I should say, to be um, anything under uh, less than two seconds scoped in. I think that's a a fair amount of time to to still be considered a quick scope. And something else, um, you might notice that there were several low ranks in this room right here, uh, which probably did make my life easier a little bit, to some degree. Um, it still, I still don't think it, it will have affected my ability to, to pull the shots off, but maybe, you know, I had that extra couple of seconds because they weren't very high ranks. Um, I did say I would record the very first game where I tried quick scoping, and this was pretty much it. I had to go with it because, quite frankly, I tried for a couple of days to get into a fairly full cool game to be able to make this video and um, I spent an hour each day looking for a, a decent game, a, a fairly full game, and I just couldn't find one that was worth recording. This was the first game that actually had enough people in it to warrant me actually recording this video. So anyway, I've included this match right here, and the next match afterwards as well. I recorded two just to see that I wasn't like um, getting some beginner's luck or whatever. So anyway, what have I got to say about uh, quick scoping? Well, I have noticed. Um, I've I've kind of paid attention to how um, other people do it and kind of tried to emulate it. Um, I noticed pretty much everyone zooms their scope and lines up the shot and then. I guess kind of quickly taps L1 or R3, whatever your aim is, and, and then R1 for the uh, for the shot. I didn't. I find I found it fairly easy if I if I took my time with it. Um, and obviously, if the target was stationary, as as these two guys are here, uh, these were really easy to pull off. Not so easy, obviously, if the uh, target is moving across your screen and uh, that makes it obviously a lot harder to do and at some points I think I got a bit overconfident with it and I thought alright well I can, I can just do this so I stopped really um, taking that little extra bit of time that I needed to line my shot up um, so that obviously cost me a few misses so anyway, as you can see here I seem to be doing I think a a decent job. I'm using the machine pistol. Um, mostly, I, I thought I'd just use the machine pistol for when I needed to take out sentry bots. And um, when I ran out of ammo, um, if I if I was just playing like this without trying to do the challenge, I would probably have been using the machine pistol a lot more, especially in situations such as this where I'm running around. I don't think I'd have enough confidence to uh, run and gun with the uh, VC-32 like 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 this. But as I said, I think I think it, I'm doing a fairly decent job to be honest. Um, I have to admit I did record one game right before this one uh, that wasn't very exciting, though uh, I got in on the end of the previous match and um, it was fairly empty. It filled out, so this is actually the second match where I'm trying the quick scope and no scoping. No scoping actually feels easier to me, obviously, close range, or even 
at fairly close range, I should say. So, what is there to say about quick scoping? I have, I have to say, well, first of all, I have to mention, um, obviously, the people who um, I know in the game. Everyone, everyone in the game, everyone knows who the best guys of this are in the game. Obviously, I have to mention. First of all, I have to mention Blaze, because he was the first person I ever saw on Killzone 3 who could uh, quick scope with a DS3 controller, and uh, it was so so annoying to play again. I used to hate playing against Blaze because he would just, you just wouldn't have a chance. He'd come around the corner and he'd quick scope you and it would be really, really annoying to play against. Uh, then obviously there's uh, Revon, who's made a name for himself um, by quick scoping. Other people are uh, Teddy and Zaris can do it as well, Gabby. Uh, who else? And she spike can quick scope. I know I'm I'm leaving people out here, but these are the guys that I know are really good at it. And uh, these are the guys I kind of tried to to emulate when I was making the video. And all right, here we've moved into the next match. Uh, this time defending. And um, I, I I think I started to really get in the groove. Um, at the start of this match, I, I missed a few shots at one point here. As I said, I, I got a bit too too cocky, I think, and kind of started messing it up. Just checking if this guy here is going to get up so I can get an easy kill. Um, so yeah, I got a bit too confident at one point, but then I, I started concentrating more and focusing on what I was supposed to be doing rather than uh, you know trying to do things that were beyond my ability. Um, I have to I have to say something. I do find the whole concept of, squi of quick scoping a bit absurd. Uh, why you might ask? Well, when I was in the army, we did I did um, about a week's worth of training, uh, sniper training. It wasn't like you know some. How can I say this? It was just basically the sniper attachments that went on um, the assault rifle that the Greek military uses. There, there are two scopes. Um, one that's, um, I think, if I remember correctly now, because this is a while ago, uh, six six times zoom, and then there's a night vision. Uh, there's a night vision scope that is also used. But anyway, the, what I found out there was that. Uh, you, you can't do anything like this, obviously. It is really hard to, to hit your target at a distance, even with the scope. I, there's so many things that factor into it. You could never possibly do anything like this in real life. But then, you know, I think to my, you know, obviously I'm thinking this, but clearly this is a video game, so you can't really expect it to be 100% realistic. But it just, it just seems like an absurd notion to me an absurd concept this whole quick scoping thing but having said that I discovered that it was uh, actually a lot of fun very satisfying to do it's uh, similar to what I mentioned about the shotgun because um, it's it's really fun getting those uh, quick kills one after the other single bullet kills pop 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 you know you kill the enemies in quick succession, switching between your targets and things like that. It's it is really satisfying to do. So I must say I did I actually enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. First of all because uh, I didn't perform as badly as I thought I would. And uh, because you know it's actually it is actually challenging and, and fun and it's it's a skill it takes it does take some skill to do. I think if I practiced enough I could uh, I could be a lot better, obviously. This is the first time I'm doing it. Well, the second, as I mentioned, the second game. Um, but I can, I can really appreciate some of the other players who I see uh, really able to, to switch their targets really, really fast. I, I can't obviously do that yet. I have to line my shot up. I have to be a lot more careful. I haven't got the feel for it yet. I haven't gotten into the, into the groove of it, let's say. But, 
ultimately, I, I do think that it's it's um, not impossible. It's not impossible. It's a lot easier than I, I thought it would be. I guess uh, is what I'm trying to say. Now, I I have seen a lot of people complaining about um, people using the move. Uh, there seems to be the notion that anybody who can quick scope is using the move, and I I think it can be fairly easily proven from this video right here that you don't need the move. I mean, if I can do it the first second time, I'm I'm trying to do it to some to some degree of success. I'm sure people who have practiced it as much as the people who I mentioned before are going to be really amazing at it and really really hard to play against. So people can stop, you know, this whole quick scoping can't be done without the uh, notion that's going around. The other thing that I saw someone mention was that it's actually easier to quick scope with the DS3 controller. So I don't know. People, I don't know. Half the people seem to think you need to to have move. Other people seem to think it can only be done with the DS3. I don't know. It's like I said, opinions and assholes. Everyone's got one. Someone even mentioned that it's it's easier to do with the L1, but that just seems self-evident to me because I that's my zoom button. L1 is always my zoom button. Uh, I think using R3 to zoom is really awkward because it's it's really easy to mess your aim up. I took my time with this guy. But it can't really be considered a quick scope there, but I really wanted to get that guy because all he seemed to do was sit down at the bottom of that corner of the map there and kill people with the machine pistol. Anyway, this is the part of the game where I, I think I, I really um, got the feel for it. I, I got a few good kills here in quick succession, and in fact, if, if I'd been able to reload uh, a bit quicker, as you're going to see here in a few seconds, I could have gotten a really good streak going. I did get on a good streak, but I couldn't reload fast enough. Uh, so here I see all these guys. It's about four or five guys running up the ramp. And I was able to get uh, a few good kills here. This headshot right here I was pleased with. And this is where it really got satisfying, as I mentioned before, because uh, you kill him these guys running at you uh, full pelt and you're killing them one shot moving on to the next guy it does feel incredible I might keep doing this I might keep quick scoping because I need some new things to do in the game like 80% of what I've done on Killzone has been tactician uh, actually no that's not accurate probably less less than that because I play a lot of classes but but this is like one of the one of the uh, major skills I would say that I haven't acquired in Killzone 3 is, is being able to snipe. I, I consider myself a very good sniper. Uh, I haven't got the patience for it. Uh, but this I think I could get into this whole quick scoping thing. Uh, if it's something that you like, if it's something you enjoy watching, I'll, I'll post some more videos of it. It's just that uh, I think that um, there's enough marksmen videos on, on YouTube already and a lot of people who can do this much better than me so you know it's kinda of pointless but if you if you want me to keep going if you if you think that um, I didn't really do the challenge well enough or whatever I can I can try it again like I said there were many low ranks in this room so maybe it's not really uh, as, as challenging as it, as it should have been uh, I'll do it again. I've got I've gotten fond of that. It, it was fun to do, so I'll do it as long as I can find the full game again. That's, that's, that was a nightmare trying to find the game to record this video. On. So anyway, it's getting near the end here. There's less than a minute left. It seemed like one bullet, but uh, it was the chunky gun, so I can't really complain about that. I guess. Um, so anyway, leave me leave me some comments. Tell me what uh, which challenge you want me to do next. Um, I was thinking of doing the uh, one where I turn the heads up display and the crosshairs off and see how well I can do uh, 
under those conditions. Either either that one or playing with just the Sky Team Pistol um, and seeing if I can go positive just with the pistol. Um, one I, that those are the two I was thinking of doing. Um, let me know what you think, or if you've got another one, you'd uh, prefer I did. So that's the end of the second game right there. I think, if I remember correctly, it was 22 and 9 the first game, and 27 and 11 this game. I'm quite pleased with that, as I said. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.